Come with me while I explore my 73 acres in northern Idaho and begin building my off-grid homestead. Make sure to subscribe so that you can follow the rest of the shenanigans. I just finished my fifth wheel renovation and now I am preparing for the first permanent farm animals that we will be welcoming to the farm. I am Heather and this is Cause We Can Farms. Hey guys, guess what we're doing? We're building a chicken coop on a trailer. Do you have cheerleaders? I have cheerleaders. guys step one kind of done <laughs> this is a trailer that I really have not used um, I've owned it now for 10 years it's kind of just sat around um, I think it's because the the bed is about the same as my truck bed and basically if I'm taking my truck then I'm putting things in the back of my truck instead of on the trailer so that's why this trailer is going to be used um, because I think it'll be perfect for for this uh, mini chicken barn. Hey, that's what we can call it, a mini chicken barn. <laughs> Alright you guys, today is day two and I am going to beginning these, finish clearing the deck on the trailer. I went to move it out of the junkyard and got caught in a hole. This is not meant to be moved by hand. I will end up getting a four wheeler or something like that that will be moving this around the property. Um, so. That being said, me moving it from this spot to this spot wasn't that difficult with nothing on it. But I do know that it's going to be extremely hard to move it once the chicken coop is built on it. But like I said, gives me a reason to get a four wheeler. So let's get back to work so that I can get to be building this frame. <laughs> Party foul. I don't think we're plugged in. All right, you guys, here it is finished. I was able to remove that board that was there and all the hooks, fill in all the holes and cracks with the uh, paint, the floor paint, paint that I used. I'm gonna show that to you again because I absolutely love this stuff. Okay, I got this at Walmart, it was $32. It's absolutely amazing. And then again, truck bed coating is what I am coating the trailer with. I will continue to add more of this as I as I go. As you can see, it's it's very rusted in there. 
Uh, this trailer has not received much love in the last 10 years. Um, so I'm just gonna go through and do as much as I can. I do also want to um, paint, finish getting this coated. Uh, but I'm very pleased with this. This is just prepping the trailer to build on. Uh, I really want this chicken coop to be pretty. I've had lots of chicken coops and chickens over the last 15, 20 years. Um, and I've always done just a thrown together coop. And this, this coop I decided was going to be my ultimate chicken coop. Again, just working on making my heart happy. So I hope that you follow along. This will be a series of probably four videos and I will continue to link to them um, as I go. Uh, so make sure that you subscribe to, and hit the bell notification so that you can follow this build series. And I just finished up with my RV series, so I will post that up here so you can go watch that one. Um, and let me know what you think. I think one of the breed, and I, I can't tell them apart for which is which, but that's what that last black one is. So did you choose these because of what, their dual chicken meat, egg meat? Um, or? No, these will be my egg layers. Okay. Buff Orpington's in there, and I've got seven or eight black chicks. They are black sex links, black australorp, and... and um, I, I've chosen them because they can be, they, they'll do well in Idaho winters. They're, they're very hardy. Um, they're pretty good layers. Every breed that I've got, I got mostly for being hardy and for um, laying, laying your eggs. It's on the ground with the rest of your flock, then the, the chances of predation from aerial uh, raptors is going to be significantly less. Oh, that's so because smart. I had I did not know that. That's because really the crows, smart. Look the, at you, yeah, sweetie. Is um, these are just velcroed together. Oh, nice, okay. smart. Um, that way, I don't have to worry about getting fill, filling this whole thing with pine shavings mm -hmm. immediately. These little bitties, they don't need that much space. I'd like to keep them closer to the heat lamp, which is why I've got it in half. As they grow, and when I add this other batch in with them, uh, I will move that wall back. And then as far as flying, I've got a bunch of uh, chicken wire that will be laid over it. Let's see if I can get this to prop. So are these all yours? These are not mine. These, these are hers. Mine. These. Oh, I see the bunnies. Hi, guys. <laughs> you can see them. Oh, there's one. A little bunny. <laughs> oh, is this where the chicken feed comes? Hi, ladies. This is, yeah. this is where they Good stick morning. their heads through. You know, you don't have to go walking through the. Hi, handsome. Here. He's a beauty. Yeah, he is. Hi, handsome boy. You bellying up to the bar? <laughs> huh? Are you going to belly up? <laughs> whiteies! Hey, whiteies! <laughs> I'm gonna walk through right there. I love old stuff. <laughs> Hi, chick chicks. Check the other side to see if we need about that ladder. Oh, yeah.
They're gonna have a whole lot more chicken bones. <laughs> the parents are back, party over. <laughs> I almost didn't want to come visit her because she has the babies and I want the babies. <laughs> yes, very smart. I um, asked my son if he'd let me keep baby chickens in his garage and he said no. <laughs> He's so mean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's just so mean. Come on, Heather, oh. son, get with it. <laughs> um, because, yeah, I can't do heat lamps, but I'm mm -hmm. going to get adults and then I'll just let yeah. them. Kidnap me. Take me back all the way back to the day. Running around in a gown and a crown. No mistake ever kept me late. We spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates.